Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another FGO video reaction and today I'm going to react to Fate Grand Carnival episode number 2. Okay, so this came out very recently and obviously I've also uh, watched Fate Grand Carnival episode 1 and uh, I reacted to it very late because it came out at uh, New Year's Eve I think and I reacted to it 7 or 8 days ago. So my wait for this episode was extremely short and I'm really happy about that, you know, because I'm sure like everyone who watched this had to wait for six months, like, you know, for the second episode to come out, whereas I only had to wait for seven or eight days. So, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, we are going to see episode number two now. Now, uh, I love these type of things because especially because like we see the servants, which are event specific servants also being animated because even if the lost pets or the singularities get adapted in the future we probably are not going to get to see the event specific servant for example shoot and caster you know like these type of servants we probably are never going to see them animated but these like you know small little like ova type of like episodes they bring these characters into life as well and i'm really glad about that so it's really nice to see like you know like all these servants like goofing around having fun doing their own thing and you know having little competitions and stuff <laughs> it's really nice to see them and i hope they like you know continue these things like these are amazing hilarious and so enjoyable to watch and uh, yeah i love them and i don't know if they have any other plan to make any other episodes but i'll be really happy if they make uh, i'm sure they'll make you know something like this because these are great so yeah okay so uh, i also reacted to episode one as i said like the link to that will be given in the description box and also somewhere over here so if you have not checked that out and you want to check it out you can go click on it and my reaction like you know you'll go to my reaction and also uh, my fgo playlist which contains all the fgo videos i've reacted to or like you know my fgo gameplay videos will also be given in the description box if you have not checked the, those out and you want to check my fgo videos out click on it and you'll find all the no, the FGO related videos at the same place. So yeah, so let's do, let's get started. So without further ado, let's get started with episode number two of Fate Grand Carnival. And obviously this is like a little anime episode thing. So I'll be like, you know, blurring the video and muting the audio because obviously because of copyright stuff and all. So like it will be a, a similar format as I do my anime reactions, like it will be timer format. So yeah, that's just it. So I'll be putting the ti timer here, over here, and the subtitles here. So you can sync it to either of it and play the original video alongside my reaction and watch it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with episode number two of Fate Grand Carnival. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Now obviously I'm, Playing it from the middle part, from where episode 2 starts. What are they doing? <laughs> oh, it's resuming from that portion. When Nero and Artoria destroyed the whole place. <laughs> Let's move to the next one. Oh, Moriarty is here. Ah. Your cube is not good here. What, you need SQ? Oh, okay. Thank God. That's nice. Jay Moriarty is bartender. <laughs> Laughing bartender. Okay. Spider's web, wow. Oh, Lancelot is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, Lancelot, poor Lancelot. Okay. Oh my god. He's hypnotizing Lancelot. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Wow. Ah! What the? What? Oh my god. What? Oh no, is this last? Oh my! What? Oh my! Someone banish him! <laughs> um... Okay! Wow! <laughs> that was something, I guess. I never thought I would see last of like that. Like, damn. Oh, God. Oh, Jandir, Jandir is here. Jandir is also here. <laughs> CD Singularity. Damn, Charter looks nice. Oh, what? <laughs> it's loading. <laughs> Singularity of Night Kabukicho. Okay. Oh my god. It's a kab Kabakura, isn't it? Or, one, or is it one of those? Singularity of Night Kabukicho. Second singular party. <laughs> oh my god, Merlin is... Okay. Wow. Yeah, it'll work, I guess. Oh, great. I, I should have expected Orion coming here in the beginning. Oh, Helen is also here. Empress for sweet Mahatma Grandmommy. <laughs> Damn. Oh no! Okay. I'm mad at me. <laughs> Grandma, we understand. Oh no! Oh! Uh, oh my God! Artemis is here. Yep. Ah, there she is. Time to go home, darling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, who is here now? Oh my god, it's Columbus. Um. Oh my god, <laughs> Met <laughs> Empress 4, Impish Honey Queen, Queen Met Honey. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she, she, she's holding it. <laughs> Dompedi! Dompedi! Oh my god, this reminds me of Gintama. Dompedi! Wow! <laughs> Little hick, oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's see who's the next customer. Oh, great. It's Gilgamesh. 
Siduri and Shavla Diamond is also here. Gorgeous P. <laughs> oh my god, so many. Yeah, a lot of QP. Zash. <laughs> Oh, Tamamu is here. <laughs> Emperor for man eating wife meat <laughs> seductress. Oh. <laughs> Red Armand. Oh my god. Oh, obviously it's, it's Gilgamesh we're talking about. So many, much QP. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, Fergus and Napoleon. Who? Oh, Lily. Okay. Whoa. Natural born pure white. <laughs> Blackbird is also here. Wow. Miracle worker. Okay. Gilgamesh will be, I'm sure. Let's see what's Gilgamesh. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look at the smile. Related to dragons. Okay, I know Jolter is related. <laughs> Natural. Oh my god. <laughs> She's mopping the place. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. I should have seen this. I should have seen this. <laughs> Where, where's the caster one? Where's Caster? Oh god. Oh. <laughs> You're all over the... <laughs> yeah, both the Caster persona and the Saber persona is like at the same... He has a coupon. Oh god. Okay, okay. <laughs> user NP, user NP, yes. Lagrandamenta, Duhain. There you go. Oh. <laughs> ah. Okay. KO. Oh my god, she completely destroyed the place. <laughs> in the ass heels. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Wow. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow, Blackbeard 
Shakespeare all. What? <laughs> oh god. Oh, Shiro. Oh, it's, um, what was his name? Masked? Mysterious Mask, wasn't it? Oh, he brought cake. <laughs> she bought cake. So this was what she was uh, trying to earn money for. Nice. <laughs> Man service. <laughs> Me? Me? Okay. <laughs> John Dark is watching. Wow. <laughs> we played with. Damn. <laughs> Only cure. Only cure. Oh, is this Shutan's? Yeah! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I start! Oh my god! Damn, her voice is so... Like, I love her voice. Shoot then. 278 Gargling medicine can kill it Wow <laughs> Amazing Okay, let's see which characters are here Merlin, Vinci, Fao, Masu, Gudako, Lily, Arthur, Nero Elizabeth Gawain, Tristan, Lancelot Moriarty, Columbus, look at Columbus. <laughs> Gil, <laughs> Jolter, John Dark, Lily, Amakusa Shiro, Jack, Nursery Rhyme, Atlanta, Akais, all the cool coolins. Wow. I'm sure Med. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I was sure Medbull's there. Meltry Liz. Carmilla Ryder, Nita Chris, <laughs> Artemis and Orion, <laughs> Ishtar, <laughs> Gilgamesh. I would have loved to see Ishtar here. Chevrolet Dion, Helena, Tamamo. Oh, Jaguar Man is here as well. Oh, um, Sitonai and Shiro as well. <laughs> the carrot. <laughs> okay, who is in the end? Is that red hair? I think so. Would you like to continue? Yeah, oh, there, there'll be more, that means. Celebrating our return. <laughs> wow. Mail postcard. <laughs> yes. Well, sh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, she burned him. Max Bond channel. <laughs> Is that the end? Yeah. Okay. So we'll get another, uh, like, you know, uh, like more episodes, I'm guessing. I hope so. 
that was fantastic okay um <clears throat> let's talk about this episode now as i said like this whole kabukicho thing you know where the whole uh the setting of them in the uh, now i might be wrong these are kabakura aren't they i think so uh like you know like where there's these like ladies or if it's like a boys thing like boys or like host like host clubs they're called yeah i think host clubs yeah uh no these are uh, okay these are not cab i think these are host clubs or are they cabacura or are they the same thing i'm not sure but uh these are host clubs most probably and like you know as like we saw like as i said like this really reminded me of gintama as <laughs> the whole thing with dom Perry really reminded me like if you guys have seen gintama like you'll not like you know understand what i'm trying to say the whole dom Perry episode you know where there's this whole <laughs> but if, which like you know otai or uh like <clears throat> there's, there's this another lady i think i can't remember her name but there's this competition between them two and they decided to bring like you know uh, like wealthy customers in and <laughs> like otai brought gin like you know gintoki and uh, all of them and like were like pressuring them to <laughs> order domperi <laughs> uh, i think domperi is the most expensive uh one isn't it i think so i'm not sure but you know and uh yeah thank you. that really reminded me of that whole thing this whole like you know like gave like gave the vibes of that and uh, okay anyway so okay so from the beginning uh obviously like so this is being resumed from the previous episode when uh nero and um, arthur destroyed the whole place and <laughs> like you know all of that and then we see moriarty kind of oh my god that scene ah like when moriarty uh <laughs> hypnotizes lancelot to actually go to mashu and do his antics that he was doing oh my god okay that that scene uh, i doubt i'll be able to forget lancelot's appearance in this episode what the hell Mash, Mash will probably never talk to him anymore. I don't know. That was <laughs> extremely wrong. <laughs> but you know, like he he's a desperate father. He he needs, you know, some kind of uh, what do you call it? Like some kind of reason to go and talk to Mash, and he's awkward. So what else can he do? You know, like he just went to Moriarty, and Moriarty kind of like you know tangled him in his spider's web that's how it goes so yeah uh i would have loved if home was holmes was here you know like he came in later on and kind of had his usual banter with moriarty <laughs> that would have been great <laughs> anyways okay and then we get to the next portion where uh jolter kind of uh asks Jandi arc about how we can get money and all and I, so Jandi arc like he recommended this place to her <laughs> you know this host club and it was really great like like jotter is one of my favorites obviously i i doubt if this i doubt if there's anyone who does not like jotter i love jotter and like jotter was my second servant and i i remember like that i was very new to fgo at that time and i usually have a kind of preference towards sundare characters that's why jalter was the perfect like you know servant who i really wanted and i got her like by the like you know like using almost the last saint course i got her and like that's why like jalter will always have a very special place in my heart and we like we get a complete jalter this is basically a jalter episode and uh like i loved it and <coughs> like <laughs> you, you know what like uh jotter is uh, uh not jotter like janti arc herself is uh voiced by maya sakamoto that is um also the uh, voice actor of da vinci and uh, a lot of other characters from different animes for example uh ryogi shiki from uh kano kyokai um then ekitona from re zero and a few other characters as well so like like it was really like you know when they were talking with each other john d arc and jolter like it was like you know the, the same characters were talking to each other it was like if you like kind of like try to like 
you know like pay attention at that time like to the voice you'll realize that it's it's like the two person who are the same they're talking to each other but technically they are the same you know like one is jolter and one is jandy art like they're the same so it was really nice like to like you know kind of like cool to see how like it, it gave the feeling of yeah two alter egos are talking with each other not two alter ego but one alter ego of jandy arc talking with her. anyways okay so yeah the main highlight is jandy arc as we see how she tries to get uh money from uh, working in this host club where obviously she is not <laughs> like you know she's not accustomed to this and first comes in orion <coughs> helena kind of pampers him and Jan Diarc uh, Jolter obviously not being a, like you know uh, being accustomed to this <laughs> smacked him and but by the end of it like you know Artemis came in and took uh, you know her darling home and <laughs> okay so how much QP did they get uh, Orion gave um, three hundred thousand QP okay that's a reasonable uh, amount you know. But, you know, like in the end, Artemis came in and took him home. Then comes in Christopher Columbus. And he says that he won money in Pachinko and decided to, like, you know, use all of it up in this, uh, like, you know, in this visit. And Mer comes uh, as a rival to John Jolter here. And, <laughs> okay. Uh, just a sec. How much money did this like QB did this did Columbus give? I'm trying to find that portion out. Okay. Okay, here we go. Um, five hundred thousand QB. So a little more than Orion, but you know, like this is Columbus we're talking about, and he said that he won in Pachinko, so obviously. And <laughs> I I love the, the portion when John was tugging his beard, you know, and. <laughs> The way Columbus was acting, damn, like, like we, we are accustomed to his face, you know, in, in the game, the, the weird faces he makes, like, the, <clears throat> one of the most evil faces Columbus has, and, like, <clears throat> this was <clears throat> nothing in compared to the in-game face, you know, like, the in-game faces are, oh, damn, like, the, that's something, like, <laughs> you know, and, but still, uh, like, he made... <laughs> some of the faces like when he was laughing like this you know ha 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 like this and uh, all of that those things and then um <clears throat> okay and then that's over and then we get to the next portion where gilgamesh caster comes in with his uh modified uh, dress uh, the dress that we get from one of the events um what is it called the mystic code yeah the mystic code and uh, obviously he's uh, like what do you what did he call himself mr p or something uh, which is the name that he takes in one of the events i think it was a summer event wasn't it yeah the event where it was like the whole um uh, the dojinshi event that we got the summer event where jolter like you know rides dojinshi and all like and <laughs> anyways uh, so yeah and then uh, Obviously, this is Gilgamesh we're talking about. So he has a lot of money. How much QP did he spend? Just a sec. Um, where is that portion? Okay. Um, I think 1 million, wasn't it? I cannot find that portion now. I'm trying to find it, but I cannot pinpoint the time. I think it was like 1 million or something like the maximum like obviously this is Gilgamesh we're talking about he's going to have so much money and <clears throat> like we see like uh, uh, okay Tamamo comes in and Tamamo comes in and first Gilgamesh was not at all like you know <laughs> interested and he, he was leaving but then come, Tamamo used her skill and <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> and then he comes in <clears throat> excuse me sorry about that then he comes in and uh, spends all the money and Jolter again loses. Now, <clears throat> okay, we also see uh, Chevrolet Dion and Siduri here, which, also, which is also a nice, like, you know, little thing. And in comes the number one host, that is uh, Artoria Lily. 
<laughs> and Jota said that, oh, maybe she is really like, you know, like bad from the inside, you know, like two faced. No, Lily is not that. Like we all know how Lily is. Like, you know, Lily is just as she like, you know, looks like and she uh, presents himself. She's just like that. And <laughs> obviously Gilgamesh was very happy with that. Like, you know, after seeing uh, like Lily come in and he was like, oh, Lily, Lily, Lily Chan, <laughs> something like that. I never thought I would see Gilgamesh making noises like that. But, you know, <laughs> everything has a first time. And... <laughs> Okay, and then someone finally asked for Jolter, but it turns out to be Gilderay and <clears throat> Like so this Gilderay has both the personality in it Like one time he's kind of transforming into his like, you know acting like his saber persona and then like this caster persona and all and He was kind of insulting Jolter and Jolter got mad and unleashed her NP and skewered him <laughs> Oh God uh, like you know after seeing that everyone got so impressed and like everyone said that okay like we'll follow you Jolter and <clears throat> like you know like I know that you have uh, potential to become number one but in comes Merlin and says that please like like spare us take this take the QP and like you know like and, and go <laughs> like, like the damage we got is enough and I, I was not expecting the ending scene where we see Jolter actually coming to, uh, you know, like uh, the children here. That is Nasir Rhyme, uh, Jolter Lily and um, uh, Jack and like for Christmas and <coughs> actually like buying them presents. That was really a nice little thing that we had in the end, like which really shows that Jolter didn't do anything for herself. It's all for the children. And <laughs> even though she acts Sundare, she has a good heart. <laughs> and uh, we also saw Amakusa Shiro here. I'm guessing Shiro was here because he like he like he played something like called the Masked Man or something. In, in like you know in the few events we got to see where he kind of acted like the Santa Claus, and he had the like you know the, the weird mask in his uh, face. So I think that was the reason why he was here because technically this was Christmas and like you know like they were supposed to bring presents for the children, and he was unable to do that. So that's why. But you know, anyways, and yeah, and then uh, okay, and then we get to see like only cure, where um, we see a lo lot of scenes here. For example, the first scene is okay, Shuten and um, Ibaraki going to school. I'm guessing <laughs> Osakabe gaming under the Kotatsu. Uh, then we have the stay home prefect, which is Mama Raiku Lancer version. I'm guessing she's dis in the disciplinary committee. And then we get to see uh, Caesar, and uh, there's Ku Hulin, Kyles, Izo, and Paracelsus. And what what's he actually doing here? Oh, he's uh, stocking up on masks, COVID masks. Oh, okay. He's currently buying to resell them. <laughs> I did not notice that when I was reacting to it. That's hilarious. Like, you know, like it's also like they're also saying this pandemic is supposed to be the real trouble. <laughs> Damn, Caesar. Okay, and then we see uh, Penthalesia. Obviously, she, he is like she is one of the agents of Amazon, you know, or <laughs> Amazon is whatever and she's here to like i'm guessing she's kind of delivering stuff yeah amazon is there you go and okay what is this uh we see archer uh, 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 like emia and ishta rider here uh mountain of masks in failed resale attempt <laughs> i'm the worst goddess i'm willing to be polite okay uh so ishta was unable to resell it i'm guessing oh damn that's a shame and okay, what is this? Edward Teach. What's he doing? He's kind of recording something and this you know Anna Bonnie, Columbus, Drake and Roberts. But what is this what is actually happening here? Is this some kind of a the video calling or something like if, if you guys understood this portion please let me know i really am able to, unable to understand this like what what is actually teach doing here 
okay and then we see abigail summer like this is what i'm talking about like you know like we can see abigail summer here she is an event specific servant i doubt we even if in the lost space we're going to get something like this you know like them being animated so it's really nice to see um like you know uh, the, these event specific characters animated <clears throat> And then this uh, Charlotte Corday, I think that's her name, <laughs> with a knife. Okay, and then uh, Izo, uh, not Izo, uh, yeah, Izo and um, uh, Ryoma. Like, it's okay to go outside to walk your dog. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this Spartus, what is he doing? Is he like a businessman or something? Rebellion, rebellion. <laughs> He's giving a rebellion thing. Okay. And then we see Ibar, uh, Ibaraki. Okay. And then we see uh, Shuten and Ibaraki. Kind of. I really like Ibaraki's costume here. Damn. Like, you know, she's wearing a little glass, like, you know, glasses. And she is wearing a kimono kind of thing. Wow, this is such a great character design. I love this. And... Uh, like okay now sorry uh, Shuten I'm talking about Shuten like uh, Ibaraki's costume is also great but I love Shuten's costume wow this character design is so great damn wow this I, I think this is the best like you know uh, like one of the best character designs that I've ever seen uh, Shuten's character design here like it, it goes so well like you know the round glasses with the the kimono or yukata that she's wearing and great <laughs> and then we see ibaraki kind of like you know punching using his her noble phantasm on caesar <laughs> and we see the noble phantasm of ibaraki lancer you know where she kind of in like uh what do you call it it's a uh, uh ringo ame What's it called? Candied apple, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, and here's it. Like they're saying that the this is the preview and stuff. And then in the end we see Sh Shuten kind of like, you know. <laughs> okay, that was great. Like especially the ending. I love the ending because obviously, as I said, the character designs and Shuten's voice, oh god, I, I, I love that. Like, you know, her voice has a different type of a allure. And like the last portion was also amazing. Where we see Ibaraki and Shuten together, you know. And the character designs and everything, that was great. Okay, so that was uh, episode 2 of this uh, season 1, obviously. And, uh, oh, okay, and in the end we also get a little bit of Sitonai and Jaguar, uh, you know, man and yeah, as always like you know taiga doing her, her thing and Ilya kind of <laughs> like accompanying her so yeah anyway so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to uh fate grand carnival uh season one i think it is episode two uh reaction so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i i put out fgo videos uh you know weekly sometimes one or two times and uh, now i'm currently doing uh the yuga Shita playthrough so i'm usually uh, uploading fgo videos every other day so yeah and uh, uh like comment down below anything you want to say you know and uh if i am wrong about something because uh, like you know in, in these type of things i might like you know make some mistakes little bits and pieces of mistakes i might misunderstand something and all so if i have done something like that be sure to comment and rectify me i'll like you know i'll check them out and uh, yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video in another video of fgo i'll do some you know some other kind of reaction and as i said like i'm doing my yuga the playthrough now so currently i'm probably going to focus on that and then i'll like continue like after it ends i'll continue with the usual amv reactions and other stuff like you know other fgo stuff that fgo puts out so yeah so see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day